Pisces, this is your July tarot reading. July's had some strong energies within it and yours is no exception. I think many people will come out of July feeling it wasn't a great month, but yours, I think, looks quite positive. I, I don't think you're going to be too challenged, but there's certainly stuff on your mind, and I think these that reflects global issues. You, you may pick up on it as being entirely personal, but global issues have major, major change going on and how we're all adapting to that major change. As I say, I think you'll probably feel maybe that it's personal, but maybe you recognise a bit more. I think you do, in fact. Uh, the overall energy, the central card there, one of temperance, could mean literally temperance, or it could mean taking the middle ground, seeing the other point of view. Um, I'm very pleased to say that you enter this month having moved on and dumped baggage which I think is a very positive thing to have done right now and, and I think it's not a bad thing to be doing you're hanging around waiting to see the lie of the land before you act I mean it could have been imposed upon you so you know it's not necessarily great but if you've chosen it yourself it's a good thing to be doing you end the month in a similar sort of, or you into the next month, you end July um, similarly sort of introspective, um, thinking about what you can and should do. Um, again, you know, I, I think at a time like this, that's a, a noble thing to be doing. I mean, you might, you're focusing on what you've got and you might be missing opportunities. But I think now is a great time for people to be taking stock. Now, this month, many zodiac signs have had a sort of... What can I say? A message from the universe that they're on the right track. And I think you're getting one. It could be in the form of a family celebration. Um... Yeah, but I think it raises your spirits and it, it's it's letting you know you're on the right track even though that all around you may seem to be in a degree of chaos. So I take heart from that um, and that leads to the outcome and the outcome is your wonderful inner strength which is a very, very good, you know, very positive thing I'd say. Um, what would change things is you have a difficult decision to make and I don't think you take it and normally I'd say well you know if there's a decision there you, you've got to take it to move on uh, but you know we live in such change that we don't know that if we take a decision now that the ground isn't going to be cut from beneath our feet very quickly so I'm ambivalent about which is the right path to take. In fact, I think, you know, celebrating, raising your vibrations and focusing on your strength is a good thing to be doing. The overall energy is one of temperance. Now, it could be moderating your lifestyle, but it's been coming up a lot recently and... I think it's more about trying to see the other side, as it were. Now, is this is this entirely personal to you? It could be, or it could be about global things, you know. I think we're all concerned, in fact, fed up of the manipulation that's gone on. Fed up that those who are guilty of it are not holding their hands up and saying, yeah, you've caught me out, even though the evidence is all there. So, I think we're being urged to try and understand it. You know, it's too easy to just point the finger and blame everybody. But so many of the problems that exist, I believe to be systemic. And therefore, we've all played our part. And if we can try and understand that, then we can understand the position we're in. And maybe move on a bit better. And it's also about taking the middle ground. You know, we're 
are being bombarded with fear porn, for one, one way of putting it, but also being bombarded with messages of tribalism. And the, the world seems so tribal now. And this is uh, uh, urging you not to take that tribal view of things. You know, I, I, I've just spotted a um, short on, on this platform whereby presumably Americans, but they're, they're holding up banners saying Allah loves LGBTQ and people have been laughing at it and saying, you know, why don't they go to Saudi? You know, it's just ridiculous, etc. You know, and you know why wouldn't God love hell? Well, why wouldn't God love all of His creation? And you know, yeah, barbaric things happen in Saudi Arabia, but in the scheme of things, probably Christian African countries are more fervent in their condemnation of LGBTQ issues. You know. And, now why see Saudi Arabia as representing Allah, you know? I mean, I've lived there and felt quite the opposite when I was there. So, you know, if, if we can have a more sort of moderate view of the world, instead of this tribalism, then I think we can create something better. very heartened to say that you have moved on. I don't know what you've moved on from, but you know, the, the challenges of the past you've dumped. Um, you've moved on and you're leading a new life. And I think that's why we can allow this sort of moderation, this temperance to come into your life. As I say, I, I've no idea if these are personal or global issues that you've moved on from. But it's a very positive thing to have moved on. It's a very positive card as far as I'm concerned. And, you know, that's part of the reason why, despite maybe some of these energies not being entirely positive, I think the whole spread is, is incredibly positive. You know, this is a great thing to have done. I'm certain it's what you should have done, and you've done it. <laughs> Right now, you're hanging around. Now, this could have been imposed upon you. You know, it, it may be that you're having to hang around. And I, I, to a certain degree, I know that feeling. You know, I've, I live in Indonesia where I'm not allowed to work or earn money. On threat of deportation, I might add. And so for the last 12 years, all I've had to be able to do really is this, well I've not been doing it for 12 years but you know eventually I found this YouTube channel which I've thrown myself into not that I earn money from it well, hundred dollars so far you know but you know it's, it's sort of been imposed upon me this waiting around uh, but to a certain degree you know at these times like this I think it's a wise move to be hanging around and seeing what the lie of the land is before you decide what to do. And I'd also say that the change is, there's going to be more changes. So whatever you decide to do, you're going to have to probably change anyway. So I, again, I don't see this as a bad energy at all. And this sort of energy is carried on into the future. So after July, Pisces, you'll still be sort of waiting. You're contemplating, looking at what you've got, looking inside yourself at what you know, which I think is, is a very valid thing to be doing at a time like this. It's just like the hanging around, you know. It does mean that maybe you're missing opportunities, but they're probably the opportunities of the 
old paradigm and you're wanting to move on to a new paradigm. So it, it seems like a good thing to be doing. Now, you know, I was, I was just about to say July might not feel like a great month as you're going through, but I, I suspect you don't feel that way. I, I suspect you just feel a bit like me, you know, in Indonesia, not allowed to work, not allowed to earn money, um, as though you've been treading water somehow. But what is it you want to achieve anyway? What's, what's so important, you know? And that's the energy I get from this spread for this month for you. I see the energy that leads to the outcome as a very positive energy. Now, most months, if I saw this card, I'd be saying, well, you're going to get married, you could, there's going to be a christening, there's going to be a... 18th birthday party, I don't know, some sort of family event that you celebrate. And, you know, that may be true, but this month I'm seeing much more sort of psychological, if you like, um, interpretations of the energies. Maybe it's how I feel, but I, I, I don't know. I, 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 I think this month has been quite a psychological month. So this is an energy of celebration, but what happens when we celebrate is that we're happy and we raise our vibrations and I think that's what we're meant to read into this, this energy here. As I say, you, you may well be having a physical celebration, uh, but the raising of the, 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 your vibrations, particularly with others, you know, in a communal event, I, I think that's what we read into it. And, and again, I, I suggest it's very positive. Now, there is an important decision to make. And you don't know which way to go. Both, both seem equally plausible. In fact, you don't think you have the full information, hence the hanged man, you know, waiting to see. Yes, of course. And normally, <coughs> I'd urge you to take a decision, be it good or be it bad. But I'm not too certain that that's the right advice. You know, I think maybe you are better off seeing the lie of the land gathering the information, trying to understand what you need to understand before taking it. Uh, this does feel like global issues to me. You know, I'm, well, to a certain degree, I, I'm unable to, to make decisions. You know, I'm, I'm due to get my pension later this month, well, it's been a few months to be honest. And I'm having dreadful difficulty in applying for it from Indonesia to the UK, you know. And uh, I don't think it's me being a product of the sort of internet age of having no patience. I, 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 it feels to me like service providers have re-engineered their business processes to make every every part, you know, the critical path be as long as possible. Um, but, you know, that there's going to be a pile of decisions to take. Do you want to do it this way or that way? But until I've got some basic information, what's the point, you know? And I, that's the feeling I get from this, this energy here, that there's little point in taking decisions because you simply don't have the information. Whereas I say, normally I'd say, well, you've got to take a decision, you know, it's important. But, you know, when you, when you don't have the full information, you don't know the implications of the decision you're making, is it the right thing to be doing? I, I, I suspect not. And I'm pretty certain that the universe is, I suppose, both confirming what I've said but also sending you a very positive sign, and that is the strength card. Now, this comes out of that sort of celebration. So I do feel it's about having raised your vibrations. 
And the universe is saying, well, you've got this wonderful inner strength. So you've got the strength to do what you need to do. And, and while it might be a bit frustrating to be hanging around, to not have got the information, how many of us have the information on what's going on in the world? Including probably the actors who are creating this uncertainty. You know, they, they might have got a bit of the jigsaw, but... I don't subscribe to these sort of theories of cabals and evil geniuses that somebody is controlling everything. What I see is chaos, you know. I mean, I'm not trying to suggest that people don't collude and try and push things in certain ways. I'm certain that's happening. Uh, but I'm also certain that they're pushing in different directions. So, you know, this inner strength will help you sit through this while a clearer picture emerges and you know I'm not even going to go to clarification I'm going to go straight to summarizing for you because I think I, I've got to grips with this re, you know this spread and it feels positive even though it you know it might not feel that positive throughout July for you it does feel positive <laughs> Pisces, I don't think, you might feel July is somewhat frustrating, but I don't think you'll feel it's a bad month. You've done many good things, you've already moved on and dumped baggage. I don't know what it's from, you know. There's many things in this reading that could be entirely personal or could be entirely global, but it's definitely affected by global pressures, there's no doubt about it. Uh, overall, the energy is one of temperance, trying to... I'm sure it means uh, taking the middle ground, trying to understand uh, why people have behaved in the way they have, not, not engaging in the tribalism that we're being encouraged to engage in. And I, I think you can see all of this. You can see all of this, and you're hanging around, you're waiting... To see the lie of the land before you act, you know, which strikes me as a very positive thing to be doing, even though, you know, it may be frustrating, it's positive, and it's, it's not going to end in July. You, you will continue to do that, continue to focus on what you have, uh, rather than leaping at possibilities that may disappear and may be the wrong way to go, you know. So I, I think that's the right energy. I mean, there is an important decision to make, which I don't think you make. And normally I'd say, well, that's, that's crazy. But I, I think you just don't have the information to be able to make it. So instead of using your head, I think what's happening is you're being encouraged. And I think you do use your heart. Now, there could be a family celebration, but whatever it is, I think it's more about raising your vibrations, about being happy, which will attract good things to you, but probably being happy with others, probably with your family, you know, but being happy with those around you, even though the world seems to be falling around at your feet, you know, and, and that will lead you to a wonderful inner strength. So, however frustrating it might feel, the universe is encouraging you and saying, I think you're doing the right things and you've got the strength to see this through.